Satan's world system, tactical methodology. In this final section of our investigation of Satan's world system proper, we shall examine the actual methods and tactics used by the devil to manipulate humanity. By way of introduction, it will be helpful to give a quick overview of some of the most important scriptures concerning the devil and his activities in this regard. And the ones beside the road are those who have heard the truth of the gospel, then the devil comes and removes the word from their heart, so that they might not believe and be saved. Luke 8.12 Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has asked to winnow you all like wheat. Luke 22.31 now, while the supper was in progress, the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray him. John 13, 2. Then Peter said, Ananias, why did Satan fill your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and appropriate for yourself part of the proceeds of the lot? Acts 5, 3. To open their eyes and to turn them away from the darkness and into the light and from the power of Satan unto God. Acts 26, 18. Now the God of peace will quickly crush Satan under your feet. Romans 16, 20. For I have already decided in the name of our Lord Jesus, when all of you are gathered together with my spirit by the power of our Lord Jesus, to hand such a one over to Satan for the destruction of his body, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 5, 4 and 5. Do not deprive each other, except for short periods by agreement, in order that you may have opportunity for prayer, and may then be together again, so that Satan might not tempt you through your lack of self-control. 1 Corinthians 7, 5 I grant my forgiveness in order that we may not be taken advantage of by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. 2 Corinthians 2, 11 for men of this sort are false apostles, workers of guile, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And it is no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11.14 And on account of my superabundant revelations, for this reason, lest I become puffed up beyond measure, I was given a stake in my flesh, a messenger of Satan, to batter me, that I might not become puffed up beyond measure. 2 Corinthians 12, 7 In these sins you once walked, according to the temporal orientation of this world, that is, not living life in the light of eternity, according to the prince of the power of the air, the devil, the spirit who is now working in the sons of disobedience. Ephesians 2, 2 So do not give the devil an opening, literally place to attack. Ephesians 4, 27 Put on the full armor of God, so that you may be able to stand firm against the tricks of the devil. Ephesians 6.11 Therefore we wish to come to you. I, Paul did, not once but twice, but Satan impeded us. 1 Thessalonians 2.18 Among these apostates are Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have handed over to Satan, that they might be taught not to speak blasphemously. 1 Timothy 1.20 don't appoint a novice as pastor, lest his head swell and he fall under the same judgment as the devil. 1 Timothy 3, 6 and 7 For some have already turned aside to follow Satan. 1 Timothy 5, 15 And that they may come to their senses, escaping from the devil's trap, though they have now been taken captive by him to do his will. 2 Timothy 2:26. Likewise, Christ also partook of flesh and blood, in order that through his death he might put an end to the one possessing the power of death, that is, the devil. Hebrews 2.14 Therefore subordinate yourselves to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4.7 Stay sober and wide awake. Your adversary, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. 1 Peter 5, 8 The one who is committing sin is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. For this reason the Son of God appeared, that he might put an end to the devil's deeds. 1 John 3, 8 We know that we are from God, but that this entire world lies in the power of the evil one. 1 John 5, 19 Names for the devil 
Nearly all of Satan's scriptural names are descriptive designations which in very straightforward fashion reveal much about his character and his modus operandi. Lucifer. This Latin name meaning light-bearer is a common translation for the Hebrew Halal at Isaiah 14.12 and refers to the morning star. This is the only title for the devil which is not derogatory, stemming from his pre-rebellion status as the representative of God to the angels. As the one who brings God's light to the world, John 1, 4 through 10, Jesus Christ has won the name Morning Star, 2 Peter 1, 19 and Revelation 2, 28. For the original bringer of light has become the prince of darkness. Satan. The Hebrew word Satan connotes enmity and opposition. According to this primary name, the devil is the enemy, the opponent, or the adversary, 1 Timothy 5.14. Devil. The Greek word diabolos means slanderer or accuser. According to this primary name, Satan is the one who accuses us before God and slanders God to mankind. Revelation 12.10 Tempter. 1 Thessalonians 3.5 Liar. And the father of it. John 8.44 Murderer. From the beginning. John 8.44 Evil one. Matthew 5.37 and 1 John 2.13 Snake In any language, snake or serpent implies treachery, danger and guile. Genesis 3 and Revelation 20, 2. Several other related terms should be noted. Dragon, Leviathan and Rahab add the notion of monstrous size and power to the snake's other characteristics. Dragon That is, a very large snake-like creature. Revelation 12, 3 through 17. Leviathan. That is, a sea serpent. Job 3, 8. Rahab. That is, a sea monster. Isaiah 51, 9. Belial, or Belia. The name means without profit or worthless. 2 Corinthians 6, 15. Beelzebub. The name means ruler of the flies and is formed from the Hebrew Aramaic word for Lord, Baal or Bel, and the onomatopoetic sound of the fly. Flies, because of their pesky nature and disgusting habits, made a good analogy for demons. Pseudo-god and world ruler. These terms describe the devil in his would-be role of master of the earth and human race. For example, God of this age, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, ruler of this world. John 12, 31, Prince of the Power of the Air, Ephesians 2, 2, Strong Man, Mark 3, 27.